Eu tenho muito prazer em recebê-la hoje, Sasha Gray. Thank you very much. Is it your first time in Portugal? It is not, actually. I was here in 2009. Huh. Did you like, did you like it here? I, I did. I loved it, actually. But I spent all of my time in Lisbon at night mm -hmm. and all of my time in the day in Estoril. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a different experience this time, mm -hmm. seeing the city in the day. It's, it's different. So you have more time now? Not necessarily, not necessarily. but I get to see more of the city. Um, uh, I'm, I must tell you that I, I don't have any prejudice whatsoever concerning your former um, activity because I'm one of the people who thinks, who, who, who sees pornography as a form, form of art. And so I quite understand that uh, with 18 years uh, you chose to be uh, an actress uh, in the uh, triple X uh, activity. Yes. And uh, I, I didn't uh, know you. I, I, today I was, I was searching your, your um, uh, videos. And uh, w with all, uh, without any joke, I, I must tell you that um, wh what, what I found out is that you really enjoyed yourself while, while, while filming. You did it because you wanted to, not because you needed the money or because you were forced to. That's, that's right. what I think is refreshing about you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You don't it. need to have an excuse to have chosen that, that path. Exactly. Uh, my friend Zem Lyaz lives in a country where they were sometimes, in, in Russia, where sometimes we hear stories about uh, kidnapped, kidnapped mm. women that right. then are forced into the industry. But you did, everything you did was because you wanted to. Do you remember, uh, uh, you really enjoyed the, the filming. Yeah, and there are, there's days, of course, where it's 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And the last thing... You have thing, to force yourself. Yes, the last thing you want to do is wake up in the cold in the winter and drive an hour away from home just to uh -huh. arrive on set. Could you choose your partners or they told you you have to, you have to play with this guy here? Do you have the right to veto? If yes. You said, yes. Absolutely, yes. And you That's... learn uh, when you're brand new, it's different. You don't know everybody, so sometimes you work with somebody and you say, I'll mm -hmm. never work with them again, and I'd rather work with okay. these five people. Uh, Health-wise, how do you protect yourself? Because it's quite a concern and mm -hmm. nowadays to do so many things uh, un with uh, unprotected. Uh, did you, did you have the guarantee that your partners were uh, healthy persons? Well, obviously there's no guarantee oh. when you aren't using condoms. Uh, but even with condoms, accidents happen. Yes. But in the adult film industry, people are tested using a different system than the general public. Mm -hmm. So the testing detects diseases within two weeks uh -huh. of exposure instead mm -hmm. of the traditional six months of exposure. And I myself would have people be tested two days before mm -hmm. I shot a movie with them because you need at least two days to get the test results back. So the window is shortened and I took every precaution I could, but mm -hmm. I knew in the end that I was always putting myself at risk and that was something that I had to decide uh, I would be okay with before I got into the business. Sasha, how did your family react to your uh, activity? Everybody was very supportive, uh, with the, the exception of my mother, naturally. Of course. Would you, would you as a mother be very worried if you know your son or your daughter to be in the, in the porn industry? I'm glad you said son or daughter, because not enough people say that, and it's always about the, the female. The always, woman. yes, of course. Yes, uh, and it's a very difficult question for me to answer, because honestly, I'm only 25. I am uh, many years away from wanting to have children mm -hmm. and it's a huge responsibility a, a dog is difficult for me right now i can't mm -hmm. imagine what it's like to be responsible for a human being and i think if i were to become a mother i would want to dedicate myself to that child mm -hmm. and making that child the best person they could be and if that's a choice they wanted to make i why not would ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. and i would be yes. supportive uh, i wouldn't be judgmental but i would hope of course, mm -hmm. hope being the key word that they 
made that choice for the right reasons and that they understood what they were doing and, yes. and had a had a goal and a motivation and that's what my father said to me um, as long as you accomplish your goals uh -huh. it's okay how uh, now they uh, now they are relieved because you left the industry my mom is yes, yes. <laughs> everybody else is like okay I'm I'm I, I'm sure your boyfriend is relieved too. I, I would be. I would like. I would like to to uh, uh, share you with, with no. other uh, monsters. Uh, this the, this Juliet Society is a very interesting book. It's uh, erotic, of course. It's a bestseller already. I know in Brazil it's a best in the first place. Uh, your your name, the fact of your your, your name Gray, has nothing to do with the uh, the other Gray. Uh, that we see in the fifth, <laughs> the, 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 the other book, uh, no. the fifty, 50 somethings of, of Grey? No, but there's a... It's a, a coincidence. I it's, I don't, who knows if it's a coincidence? Maybe it's not, but ah. I, I chose my name when I was 18, mm -hmm. and my, uh, my stage name when I was 18, but I partially based it on the picture of Dorian Grey. And I partially based it on Dr. Kinsey's scale of sexuality. The, the gray in Dorian the is, gray is with an A, not with yes. an E. But Dr. Kinsey's gray scale, which is the, all the shades of gray in between yes. of human sexuality. Absolutely. So I had uh, many people ask me that. That's another very interesting theme because 90% of humanity is convinced that sexuality comes in black and white. And it does not. It does and not. And uh, here, in, here you, you tell us about quite a lot of shades of, of grey. Se tivesse um. Tem, tem crianças? Tem filhos? Tenho. De, de que marca? Que meninos ou meninas? <coughs> Tenho uma menina grande. Uma menina. Uma, uma filha. Com que já, idade? Com 30 anos. Ah, isso é uma matulona. Com 30 anos. E mais. E, e mais. o meu filho que tem 28. 28. Se o seu filho ou o seu filho dissessem que ah, vamos, vamos abraçar a indústria de, 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 de cinematografia pornográfica, ficava preocupado? Quer dizer, uh, uh, não ficaria feliz, certamente. Isso, <risos> Mas não era, pai para, não era pai para... Quer dizer, uh, com a idade que eles têm, eles já são responsáveis. Sim. Claro que, e eu aqui digo isso abertamente, claro. Se dependesse de mim, eu faria tudo Pelo para não. que isso não acontecesse. E no seu caso, também não gostava de abraçar uma carreira? De... Não. <risos> I, I'm asking him, he, would you like to join the industry? Não. Aqui, uh, olha, porque, oh, oh, como agora já não tem o seu coisa na luz, era uma hipótese. Ah, sim, agora pronto, agora como, como venho embora da Rússia, porque a luz... Já se é... milhares em quentes e boas. Exato. <risos> é uma boa ideia, nunca tinha pensado nisso. E até eu tenho ali um realizador e tudo, chamado Vasco Palmeirinho, que é o nosso próximo convidado.